G'day everyone, Daniel O'Grady here once again for another Wasabi Cars video. Thank you very much for joining me. And regulars must be thinking I've been abducted by aliens or replaced by a robot or something because this car is dead set decades newer than the cars that I tend to post. It is of course a second generation Toyota Sawara, which rhymes with koala. And while I do love koalas, Sawaras don't really do it for me but this one is super special it's super clean and i think you all want to see it and that's a good enough reason for me to show it and uh yeah toyota produced 500 of these the special aero cabin version so check out that roof and i've seen this at a couple of car shows just a couple like two now the aero cabin is classed as a convertible but hey wouldn't it be like a uh, cabriolet or a cafe au lait or something like that. I mean, it's not a true convertible, is it? It's got a B pillar, C pillar. I'm not really sure how it should be classified, but convertible just doesn't seem right. Also, what doesn't seem right is your two Oompa Loompas who would be sitting in the back of your regular Sawara in the aero cab and they have to get out and walk. Yes, this is a two seater and check out the interior. I've got to say it's a bit busy in there, the owner could have done with a bit of a clean up before the show but I guess he was there being social and not really so much into showing his car. So yeah, I totally want to blame the owner for not showing me the engine of this car which would be a 7M GTE. That particular engine is an inline 6, it's a 3 litre engine producing 232 horsepower. So yeah, the gear stick says this is an automatic, no surprise really because every aero cabin was equipped with that automatic gearbox. The steering wheel, bit of a shocker. You can see there's a screen, car navigation and whatnot. Otherwise we got, uh, yeah, a lot going on. And one thing I love about convertibles is you can get a real good look at the interior. Also you can drive it if you're a giraffe. Now let's just pull out of the interior and you can get a better look at the rear of the car. Massive tail lights, little bit of a rear spoiler, massive flat boot top. Of course the roof slides into that. Aftermarket wheels looking very nice and yeah that two-tone is sweet actually. Now I did a little bit of investigation on GooNet.com. Uh, that's where you might want to go if you want to buy some cars. Now there are three 1989 Sawadas for sale. There's the black 2 litre GT twin turbo. 120 multiplied by 10,000. That's how many yen. You have to put that in your local currency. I can't be bothered quite frankly. That's the car at the top. Car at the bottom. Very, very high price, and that also is a twin turbo, 230 multiplied by 10,000 yens, super expensive. And now the one in the middle, which is an aero cab, and yes, one of 500, 144 multiplied by 10,000 yen. And actually, that aero cabin has 132,000 kilometers on the clock, which, yeah, I guess is quite a bit, actually. Yeah, anyway. Wow, fancy me showing an MZ20 Sawada, unbelievable. Now question of the day is inspired by me looking at an old video of mine. Now I did a video of uh, Willowbank Raceway, it's a drag strip in Queensland and uh, there's a music uh, soundtrack to it and I've edited it up very very nicely and I thought wow, you know, I don't think I could ever replicate that video again, I think I have peaked. And that is question of the day, what have you peaked at? And I don't mean your neighbour through the curtains. <laughs> what have you peaked? What have you reached a peak at? Please let me know in the comments below. And everyone, Patreon, hey, would you... I'll leave that for another day. But thank you so much for your support, everyone. And take it easy. Goodbye. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on wasabi gals and a little bit of wasabi.